What are we doing first? We're gonna do the spices first. So, yeah. okay. cumin. So just make sure that the oil is hot, put the cumin in, and immediately put but, the... And this is, yeah, and then put the turmeric in. Turmeric I in. love turmeric so much. And it just immediately smells amazing. And then you're gonna toss in your onions. And like the kitchen already smells amazing. Oh my god. The best gosh. part of Indian food. Next. I'm gonna put just a pinch of asafoetida. Now, will you explain what that is? Because I feel like I am an Indian food aficionado, and I have to admit, I wasn't as familiar with this. Spice. Yeah, this is what we call the truffle of Indian cooking. Because it has it does have a very strong flavor. So a little goes a long way. Oh yeah. And and, and it's immediately. Uh, oh, it's so fragrant. It's like yes. garlicky, fragrant, funky. It's yeah. Just, uh, it's earthy. It's amazing. So, Drew, I'm going to put all the roasted vegetables in here. And a lot of times when people eat Indian food, they sense something here, in it, I can hold this. but they can't tell what's there. And it's asafoetida. That secret, secret asafoetida. I, I always say for me, it's what make, makes my mom's Indian food taste like Indian food. Okay, Drew, now we are putting some salt in. Okay. Um, so right, now it's now time it's for a little chili powder. Chili powder. powder. Just a pinch. As, as much or as little as you want. I'll go deep because yeah. I, I think I'm going to put all of it. She's putting, she's putting all of it. All good, of it. good. I have, a, I, have a, I have an old palette. Look at the color of this, you guys. Yeah. I mean, that is just so beautiful. Oh, it's yeah. so stunning. Okay, now and what? And now it's Thank ginger. You. Just put the ginger in. I'm gonna put all of it. And like a full tablespoon of ginger, I feel like the first time I tested this, I was like, this is a lot of ginger. But the ginger just like brings that like freshness and the bite, like it really makes a difference. Like a bright infusion. Dish. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like with Indian food, with my mom's Indian food, she's just amazing at achieving balance. It's like, okay, there's a little richness from this. Okay, we're gonna add tartness from the lime juice. We're gonna add freshness from the ginger. It just tastes like so complete. Well, and as someone who has literally learned to cook from cookbooks and watching cooking shows, they always talk about that balance of acid, mm -hmm. hence the lime. Yes. And the ginger. Just, just maybe not all of it, just a little bit. Okay. And, um, and, and then just let it kind of caramelize at the bottom a little bit. Because you like and to get that sort of like pan, pan yeah, yeah, that yeah. pan sear. The book is so full of this great celebration of life. Your family, the photos, there's just such joy in it. I love the recipes. It's, it's oh, really one of my favorites. You. I'm that so means a lot. Thank excited. You. Thank you. And I will say, it's also been such a huge success. I was, I was really proud to make my very first reita, which is a dish like reita and mint sauce. Oh my gosh, look see, at that caramelization. See, that yeah. looks good. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. You just gotta, you just gotta set it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. Okay, I can't I'm take gonna it turn this I'm off. salivating. All and right. then we're going to you garnish put some garnish. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this cilantro? Yeah, it's yes. just cilantro. I love cilantro. It's my favorite. It's a polarizing herb. I realize oh, we that. We love it. I love it. My sister doesn't like it. I love it. It's a it's a battle in the family. I'm very, oh my god. Shall oh my I god. put oh some on a plate? Okay. I mean, I might just do what okay. you did and just Go But no no it. mom, you should you should plate it up. Okay. You're the mom. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Mm. Is there enough salt? Oh, oh yeah. my It's great. God! I mean, look at that crust on the potatoes. I'm just like, mm. oh, I'm it's in heaven. So beautiful. And mm -hmm. instead of cauliflower, you can even use broccoli if you're not instead a cauliflower of fan. Potatoes. I've done sweet potatoes. That too. Really good. Yeah. It's really one of the most beautiful dishes I've ever had, and I just savor the moments of being with mothers and daughters and keeping oh. traditions alive and making choices in your life where you say, I got this from my grandmother, I want to give this to myself and my family, pass it down. I mean, how proud you must be of your daughter. I, I watch her make and it makes me so happy. <laughs>
And like, I mean, it blows our minds that these dishes that, you know, growing up, you know, my mom would just make after my piano practice, after my sister's track practice are now being made by so many people. Like my mom and I look at every photo on Instagram of people making it and it just makes us, it like delights us. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Oh, oh my so gosh. Wow. Ria and Ritu, <laughs> Indianish, one of my favorite cookbooks and one of everybody's favorite cookbooks is available everywhere books are sold. Thank you guys.